Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, if you remember, I introduced you last month to a new personal favorite of mine. He's known as Lloyd the Bike Tour Man. Yes, that's what he calls himself. This guy is such a treat to be around. He can bring a smile to anyone's face, so that's why I'm bringing him back on the show today. Lloyd has so much passion and enthusiasm for what he does. It's truly, truly contagious. He loves the Keys and he makes sure that everyone he meets falls in love with the Florida Keys and ends up loving it just as much as he does. Now when Lloyd first moved here, he met a man who went by the name Indian Ron. And Ron told him to love what you do, to do what you love, and the world will come to you. It's good advice and Lloyd has been living it ever since. Lloyd, thank you so much for being back on the show with me today. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, just thrilled to be here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, follow your heart's desires. That's mm -hmm. what you do what you love, love what you do, the world will come to you means. Follow your heart's desires. Figure out what your passion is, whatever your hobby is, whatever you love doing, try to do more of it and get great at it and get it to the point where it can be something that you can do maybe to make some money. Uh, and maybe that b can become your career and your job. Which is exactly what happened to you, Lloyd. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, I started out for 20 years just playing and enjoying the life in QS because, well, I mean, frankly, back in the 70s, it was very inexpensive and anybody can c c could live here and kind of play around and, and get away with it without working two jobs. But now these, those days are over. So I had plenty of time to practice uh, the recreational lifestyle that I really fell in love with here in Key West, which was swimming and sailing and snorkeling and bike riding and enjoying the nature of Key West, which I think is very important that mm -hmm. we continue this promotion of Key West in a really cool down-to-earth way where we can attract people from all over the world to come here to really frolic and play in our beautiful uh, tropical environment. Mm -hmm. And now, Lloyd, you, I know that your business, it's centered around the tourists, of course, because you want to show them what Key West is truly like. But you also like locals, don't you, Lloyd, for your tours? <laughs> yeah, uh, locals call me up, and uh, I, I've been inviting, I've been doing this for 20 years now, and uh, uh, I wish the mayor would come and bring his family and uh, uh, the conks and people that have been here for, for however many years. Uh, I invite them to, to come on, on, the, on the bike ride because it's going to reacquaint them uh, with the part of Key West that I think a lot of people's lives are, have gotten away from, mm -hmm. which is uh, the trees that are in our yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, the key limes and the mangoes and the coconuts and the avocados and the papayas and the sugar apples and all these things are, are, are amazingly unique about our island and a lot of people don't that just come to Key West never get a chance to be acquainted with this stuff and the people that have grown up here have gotten too busy to remember how great it was when they were, ch when they were children growing up with the fantastic nature around us. Do you provide bikes on the tours, Lloyd, or do they have to bring bikes? Yeah, um, I actually leave from a place called the Moped Hospital uh, <laughs> and uh, you can bring your own bike. They mm -hmm. have, uh, I have all the bikes that that you might need. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have all the bikes you might need. And again, this isn't your average bike tour, Lloyd. I can only imagine what the experience is like with you. I will do it soon, I promise. I kind of shock people. Uh, <laughs> I look to introduce people to other people. I look to get invited into people's backyards to see what interesting trees they have. If this, you know, I've, I, I have several places that I do go into. Um, Tell me, what we, places? We stop. We go to Nancy Forrest's Secret Garden. She has mm -hmm. A wonderful, she's a wonderful human being. Uh, she she has 25 adopted rescue parrots. We visit her. She puts birds on people for photographs. It's great for kids. It's great for for anybody, any age. Um, I go to the Wildlife Rescue Center. Peggy mm -hmm. over there and Tom, great people. They save birds. They there's all these animals that are running loose over there. I I go back to a pond and I call the turtles and they come and the mm -hmm. iguanas and. So it's, a, it's, it's, there's a lot of animals and plant life and, um, Coconuts and conch shells, coconuts right? Coconuts and conch shells. <laughs> and I, speaking. I, I, cut, I cut up coconuts with the machete and uh -huh. squeeze key lime in there and we sing the song, put the lime in the coconut and... What's that song, Lloyd? Put the lime in the coconut? Put the lime in the coconut, you mix <laughs> it all together. I said, doctor, <laughs> is there nothing I could take to relieve my belly ache? You put the lime in the <laughs> coconut, you drink it all up. You put the lime in the <laughs> coconut, make it feel better. <laughs> 
That made me feel better this morning. It's a remedy. And coconuts Thank are, you. The island's full of coconuts <laughs> and key limes. It's one of the best drinks in the house. There you go, Lloyd. And now you have a conch shell with you right now, Lloyd. And I know that you love this conch shell. You've won contests with this conch shell, haven't you? Ah, uh, this is the ultimate. Uh, this is the original conch shell I got in 2006 from uh, uh, the Reverend Al uh, Key, mm -hmm. the guy that used to sell the conch shells at mm -hmm. the southernmost point. I bought this from him. And I won the contest in 2007 and 2009, mm -hmm. and I played it on radio stations. They called me up after that to go on radio stations, and uh, actually, they wanted me on the Jerry Leno show, oh, but yeah. I didn't want to go. I didn't <laughs> they wanted me to jump out of an audience and play the concert. Stupid. You settled I got for more this to show. offer than playing the talk show. <laughs> you okay? settled for this show, but I'd like you to wake all of our viewers up this morning because it's early, Lloyd. It's very early, and I think that your conch shell can get them out of their bed. So go for it, Lloyd. I think it will too. <laughs> but we're going to do Frank Sinatra. He wants me to sing Frank Sinatra. We're going to do Frank Sinatra, <laughs> Strangers in the Night. And Jenna is going to accompany me. I think this is going to win some Tony Awards. Possibly. We'll try, Lloyd. We'll okay. try. You start first. Maybe okay. I'll follow. What? <laughs> go for it, Lloyd. All right. Here we go. Strangers in the Night. You can mm -hmm. do it. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I know I tricked you, but the you you just did so good on that conch show. You didn't need my voice to ruin it. If you want more she of Lloyd, done it. if she you want, done it. if you want more of Lloyd, please check out Lloyd's Tropical Bike Tours. Take a bike ride with this man. He will show you a Key West that you've never seen before. Lloyd, thank you so much for coming thank back you. on the show and sharing thank you. all of this. I had fun. I enjoyed it. I'll be right thank back you. after these messages. Stay with me, everyone.